Legal and ethical issues affecting the ICT industry. Confidentiality, copyright, intellectual property, and privacy. So we're going to take a look at these four issues just briefly in order to give us a bit of an idea of specific issues that are impacting on the ICT industry. And as you'll notice, they're all really prevalent to the protection of data and keeping that data safe on the systems that IT CT workers work with. So let's start off first with confidentiality. And this relates to businesses having the ethical responsibility to maintain the confidentiality of individuals of whom they have information stored about on their system. So many businesses have systems that provide services and goods to their actual customers. And as a result, they store data on their systems. So while this data is stored on system, they've got to keep it confidential, okay, and really restrict who can view that data. In saying that, we live in an age where there are incidents such as data breaches, cyber attacks, and users just trying to get unauthorized access. They all pose a significant threat to the confidentiality of information that is stored on organization systems. So security measures need to be brought in place in order to maintain this confidentiality and protect the data of clients and customers and the employees who all work in conjunction with an organization. The next issue we'll look at is that of privacy, and that kind of stems from confidentiality, that this information needs to be kept private, but we're going into the legal boundaries now in that there's a specific law, the Privacy Act 1988, which is an Australian law, which is developed to protect information and ensure that it stays private when kept on systems. With this law, there are 13 principles related to the protection of privacy that goes on to an organization when they do start taking information from the public. I'm not going to go into these 13 uh, principles now, but obviously they relate to the protection of the data, its collection, its use and efforts to be made in order to keep that data secure. The next category of issues is that of copyright. Now, copyright laws relate to acts made in Parliament, okay, such as the Australian Copyright Act 1968, as well as intellectual property laws, which we'll go a bit more into in the final point. An individual can tell if an item is under copyright through viewing the C symbol, okay, which stands for copyright, which has been put on a product. But in saying this, Copyright can still exist even if you don't see that symbol because it is related to intellectual property as well and that is automatically assigned usually when someone does create something new, okay, it is automatically given to them whether or not they've stamped the C on their product or idea or not. But it's made to control the actual copying of that idea or product and the owner is the person who owns the copyright. The final one we'll look at, as already alluded to, is that of intellectual property, and this relates to ideas cre created by individuals' thought processes. So someone has gone through their own design process and created something new, and this was done with the foundation being their intellect, and that's why it's called intellectual property. The creation of new ideas and that gives them the designated ownership of what they've created. Okay, whether it's a product, whether it's a method, whether it's an idea, a graphic, a song, whatever, they're automatically given ownership, provided they aren't doing that as a part of their job for a specific organization. Then the organization is usually given that ownership of what they're doing, and that would all be allowed in their working contract there. But types of uh, intellectual property laws that exist and rights that can be given into the creation of new ideas and systems include things such as patents, trademarks, copyright, as we've already mentioned, and registered designs, all protecting these new ideas in different ways, whether it be the right to develop the idea and having sole control over the idea as it is with a patent, or in regards to a trademark, the branding and logos of an organization so that a company can develop their own feel. And finally, with registered designs there, that we've developed a product that looks a specific way and looks that specific way, whether to be unique or because it's efficient in its design, well, that design then is registered under intellectual property and no one else can develop something in that design. So I hope this video has given you a basic understanding of these legal and ethical issues affecting the ICT industry. That of confidentiality, that we've got to keep data safe on the systems that we have and restrict who can view it. Privacy, that by law, we have to keep data on systems private and have things in place that protect the data in line with the 13 principles of the act. 
copyright, which is the right to copy someone's work, and what are the rules around it. Once again, link to an act, and we look to the symbol to see that it has an existing copyright in place. And then finally, intellectual property, the property of someone's intellect that comes through their own design process and innovating something new. They're de delegated IP, unless they do work for an organization, which can be covered through rights such as patents, trademarks, copyrights, and registered designs.